So an update on the 1985 Bianca Aphrodite. I've got the tarp off of it. You can see that I've got the stairs built over there now. And uh, well, let's take a little closer look. cockpit here. Access to the engine is uh, through the cockpit floor and uh, the old cover that was here was uh, rotted out so uh, as you can see the old one was uh, pretty delaminated. So I took it apart and I'm also sanding down the teak frame pieces and I'll put a new piece of plywood over that. This will then uh, sit in there with some new uh, engine insulation on the back side of it, but it'll sit there to cover access to the engine compartment. And then over top of that, and, and I'll, I'll epoxy that up really good, have it uh, painted white to match the floor. And then uh, what will go over top of that for support is a couple of, uh, it's a two-part teak slat floor for the cockpit, and that will mean that I walk on teak um, instead of on that hatch cover itself so it'll be very supportive and um, strong and uh, give but also give great access to the engine not only from inside the cabin uh, under the stairs but through the cockpit itself for those hard to reach places. So I'm working on sanding the uh, hatch cover that goes over the engine compartment. These guys were all gel coated. I've got them sanded down to the bare teak and now I'm working on a new piece of plywood that will attach to this to form the hatch cover that went in that hole you saw earlier. And this is the board that I'm sanding right now. I'm rounding over the edges uh, so it'll be nice and smooth. Got the other side sanded. Have my holes pre-drilled to go into that frame you just saw. And I've got the uh, holes countersunk on the other side of this. As soon as I'm done sanding this, I'm going to wet it out with uh, some epoxy. 